I don't know the numbers, and I don't even know how many digits the code has. Guessing is not gonna work. Maybe Fuller's noted the numbers down somewhere. Now if I can just get a look at his stuff in the morgue. There's a delivery note for liquid soap. Uh, ex excuse me. This area is only for staff. You're not allowed in there. Oh, uh, excuse me. I, I didn't know that. I've got to distract the nurse somehow. She won't let me in there. There are a few cables hanging down the side of the unit, mostly to the sensors attached to my mother. The machine only monitors my mom's vital functions. So it doesn't matter if I loosen the cable here. Perhaps the delivery note will be of use. I'll take it. Um, hello. Are you delivering something? Yes. <sighs> Delivery note. <laughs> Whatever. I'll be off then. Hey, not so fast. What you delivering then? Liquid soap. So, where is it? Huh? Where is the package? Oh, uh, what a klutz. I left it in the car. Man, unbelievable. In my day, I would have never gotten away with that kind of thing. Oh, no. Does that mean I'll never be able to become a security guy now? I'll get the box. An empty package. <sighs> Looks like someone's unpacked the shipment here and left the packaging. Some people. Yes. Um, hello. Are you delivering something? Yes. <sighs> Delivery note. <laughs> Whatever. The package? I've got it here. Okay. Can I go in now? No, you can't. Where's your pass? My what? Your visitor's pass. You have to get a visitor's pass back there. Oh, come on. What is this garbage? I just want to take my package to the mortuary. And you need a pass to do that. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You could say so. I'd think about that if I were you.
Mrs. Biber. Yes, what can I get you? What's happened to your eye? Let me guess, you fell down the stairs. I... Yes. And your husband was standing at the bottom doing his boxing training. What's this got to do with you? I just don't understand it. How often does this happen? Not often. Just sometimes. Maybe you ought to move to a bungalow without stairs. Yeah, you think you can give me advice? You married? You trade in your pride when you do that? You've never been in love. If you had, you'd never ask that. Okay, what do you want to drink? Is it too early for a whiskey? What do you think? Psst, Mrs. Biber. Yes, what can I get you? Hey, um, can I get a pot of coffee? On its way. Hot, hot. Oh man, sorry. It was an accident. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Your thoughts are elsewhere. I'll give it here, Dr. Newhouse. I'll rinse out the stain. Thanks. No harm meant. No damage. I just gotta keep it cool. Now that's what I call a serious coffee stain. And the ID badge is still pinned to the lab coat. So now I've got some ID. Excellent. The security guy at the morgue surely won't expect it that closely. Um, hello. Are you delivering something? Yes. <sighs> Delivery note. <laughs> Whatever. The package? I've got it here. Okay. Can I go in now? I, uh, I've got a pass as well. All right then. You could go in. in total. Let's see. There are lists of the personal belongings each dead person had on them. But there are no names. There's 394 written on the first one. I guess the numbers on the lists here relate to the numbers on the boxes. That means if I can work out which of these lists belong to Fuller, then I know which box his stuff is in. Number 448. Wallet, driver's license, Credit card, keys, bills. I wouldn't rule that out as being Fuller's, but I'm not certain. Number 442. Driver's license, photos, small change, a pacifier, baby powder. Definitely not Fuller. Number 399. Knife, torch, ski mask, skeleton keys, small change, plastic bag. 
Unless Fuller was about to set off on a secret thieving trip when he was murdered, then that's not his. Number 433. Credit cards, earrings, anklets. Hmm, no, not Fuller's. Number 412. Wallet, keys, Polaroid photo. That could be Fuller. Oh, wait a minute. A wedding ring. Fuller was never married, so it's not 412. Number 394. Hairbrush, lipstick, car keys, mirror. That's hardly gonna be the contents of Fuller's pockets. Number 448. That's the only box left. It's gotta be it. Boxes. They appear to be airtight. There's a number stuck to every box. I think the personal effects of the dead people are stored in them. Fuller's box is number 448. But where is it? That's Fuller's box. <clears throat> Fuller's keys. Those could be useful. Hey, and here's his wallet. Driver's license, a few dollars, credit card, a few bills. But no secret numbers or anything like that. I think I'll take the keys. The wallet and the rest of that stuff is of no use to me. That's Fuller's keys. Keys for the store, his apartment, mailbox, automobile, and... Hmm, that's interesting. That's no ordinary key. It's a small hexagonal brass stick. Looks almost like a winding up key for a clockwork toy. Hey, there's a small opening. I could easily fit my finger in there. Let's see what happens when I turn the key. Okay. So, I've wound up the clock. Now I'm pushing the key in. Oops, it clicked. It sounds like it adjusted something inside the clock. What the? Uh, what's this then? This box was hidden in the clock. Come on, I just need a little tip for the damn combination. Huh, four negatives. That's four negatives which have been cut out, but the photos don't seem to have come to anything. There are some faults in the exposure. They look like bars or stripes. A few horizontal, a few vertical, and they're arranged differently on each negative. I can't see anything else other than that. Hey, two, four, eight, two. 
the rows produce digital figures when arranged in the right order. I'm certain that's the code for the secret door. The negatives were full as emergency memory aid. understand it the code has to be right at least it sounded like it was hmm something else can't be right <laughs> 